it's a new day and it's time to check on the piggy piggies. Whoa, look at that. Hi, good morning. You guys were busy. Look at all that rooting. With all the rain we had yesterday and then overnight, there are a lot of earthworms that have come up. They're all in my driveway. But apparently it has also inspired these guys to start digging up the moist ground with all those earthworms in there. They've probably eaten a decent amount of grub. Gonna check their feed to see if they ate any of the stuff we gave them yesterday. Whoa, look at that. There's a worm in their water bowl. It does not look like they touched their feet at all. You guys know there's food over here, right? Hi. Come on, piggy piggy. Good girl. Hi. Hello. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, hopefully the reason they didn't eat this was because they got so many worms from the ground. It seems like they've gotten pretty well trained to the electric fence now. There haven't been any more shock issues. Also, they were just walking around here and one of them stepped on the one of these dried out stems here and it makes the same noise as it breaks as the fence popping when it hits one of the pigs. So as soon as they heard that crack, they both took off running because they thought it was a shock coming. So that leads me to believe that they kind of got the concept now. I'm definitely gonna have to spend some time in here over the next few days, like a lot of time getting them used to me so they get more comfortable here, that I can work with them and train them to the water barrel. And this is gonna be the hard part of having only two pigs because the amount of time that I'm gonna have to spend with just two pigs to get them socialized and comfortable here. It has the potential to be a bonding experience, which is what I don't personally want because I remember what that was like the first year I raised sheep. I had four feeder lambs and that was it and I bonded with them. And that made the harvest really hard. With these guys, I'm definitely gonna have to find that balance, that sweet spot of getting them comfortable and to where I can work with them get them trained to use the water barrel, but also to where I'm not too attached. It's another new morning and time to check out the pigs again. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. You guys. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Two little pigs did a lot of digging in here. You getting curious now? I'm gonna come in and see you. All right. You are clearly thirsty. Let's go try and work on this water thing. Yeah, they uh, filled in their water bowl here pretty good. It's time for them to learn this. They finally ate their food though. That's a good sign. Hey buddy, you wanna come sniff? All right, are we good? All right, they're really close to the water thing now, so it'll be a good time to show them. Hey guys, look. Oh, you see that? Hey, look. Yeah, curious? Check it out, look. Good scratch. Oh yeah, that's the spot. When I had American guinea hogs, they were already sort of used to this type of water system. The lady who I got them from was using normal water troughs. She had the same mouthpiece um, that they would use, so they recognized that. It was easier to, to teach them that this barrel was the source of water. We're making progress here. She's busy getting the grub out. <laughs> you don't like that, all right. Fair enough. Well, we can definitely see who the dominant pig here is. The pink one, which is the female one. 
she's certainly in charge here. Better way, guys. Come on, figure this out. Well, we're making a little bit of progress with them. I'll keep working with them and let you know how it goes.